Hi YouTube, this is Autumn Beckman. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I have a little unboxing for you. It is a Louis Vuitton item and this is something I have been searching for this for months and months. If you hear a little mumbling in the background or whistling later on, that's my bird, Vincent. She's an African gray parrot. Um, I've been looking for this item for months and months. I finally came across this one. I didn't even know that this item existed. So I was really excited when I found it and I jumped on it. And as soon as I saw it, I searched around trying to find another one that was in a little better condition because the button on this has some wear, but I couldn't find another one. And it didn't look like there had been many of them for sale. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this box open and get to it and show you the item. And then I'll tell you the backstory and all the things that I was considering before I bought this. Also, this is my first purchase ever from Yugi's Closet. So I was curious about their packaging. So here it is, a box that says Yugi's Closet. It has a little paper and information on your orders enclosed. Thank you for shopping at Yugi's Closet. It's an envelope. Let's open this up. It has a card, sell to Yugi's Closet. So information on selling and consigning. And then my receipt. Information's on the other side of that. That is all that's in that envelope. And I'll just set that aside here. Under the envelope is some bubble wrap. This item did come in the original box and I was curious if they would put that box in a dust bag, Louis Vuitton. Um, it is not in a dust bag. I saw in the listing that the box has a little damage. I don't know if it's gonna show up on the screen. Yeah, I think you can see it. There's some like a ring of water around here. It's very light, that doesn't matter. I, don't, I didn't buy it for the box, but it's cool that it came with the box. And I think it also came with the original tags and the dust bag and all that. There's Yugi's Closet sticker on the box. I'll try to peel that off if I decide to keep the item and I will if it's in decent condition like it was in the picture. Oh, I'm not unboxing on camera, I need to do that. Here is the item, or at least the dust bag for the item. There it is, it's the old dust bag. And there's some paperwork in the bottom here. That says Yugi's Closet, and I don't know if you can tell, but there's an embossed image on there. Open that up, there's a tag for the item. It's been verified authentic by the in-house authenticators at Yugi's Closet. Thank you for purchasing. And then I have the original Louis Vuitton receipt and the tags. I'm gonna show you the item first and then I'll show you those things. I lost the item for a second on my desk, but here it is, it was under the box. Let's open her up. There's another tag inside. It's attached to the item, so I'll pull the item out with it. Oh boy, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was. All right, there she is. This is the Sarah Compact Wallet. So I have the full size Sarah Wallet and I will do a comparison video on the two of these. Um, here's the tag, do not remove this tag, and guaranteed authentic, don't remove it or it's yours, same old thing. Um, yeah, this is quite a bit larger than I thought it was. I didn't look at measurements, but I, had an idea in my head of how big it would be. And this is not twice the size, but close to twice the size that I was thinking it would be. You can see that the button was brass, but that some of the coating has come off the edges, so there's some silver showing through. So let's do um, just an overview of the outside here, and then I'll show you the inside. And just spin it around. It looks like it's one continuous piece of canvas. The LVs look nice and centered. Um, there's no pocket on the back like there is with the full-size Sarah wallet. Here is one side. Here's the other side. And then let's open that up. So inside the flap here, there's the made-in stamp, which I can't read on my screen right now. Maybe you can. Um, I think it's a made in France piece, but it might be Spain, I'm not sure. So here is what the inside looks like. On the front here, it has a slip pocket, and that's lined with that brown color. On the back, there's another slip pocket, 
There are two big gusseted pockets and one zippered pocket here. And then on each side, there are three coin slots. So three right, I mean not coin slots, card slots. There are three right there, and then there are three right here. So the zippered compartment, the zipper's still nice on it. That's good. And let's look inside and see how clean that is. So I see some coin residue there. That's no big deal. That'll come right out with a baby wipe. I've done that before on several pieces. Um, okay, so this wallet is a lot bigger than I was thinking it was. I think the height is probably about right, but it's longer. I thought it would be cut off about right here and be like that size, but it has an extra inch or so. And I'm not 100% sure now if I'm gonna keep it because of the size, because I needed a small wallet. So let me tell you the backstory and why I got this. I needed a small wallet, clearly, just said that. And the only wallet I have right now is my full-size Sarah wallet. I wanted a smaller Louis Vuitton wallet for two reasons. One, I wanted something to keep all my extra cards in. You know, we all have lots of cards. We have bank cards, we have ID cards, we have grocery store cards, we have uh, membership cards, we have other store cards, we have health insurance cards, all these cards, and I need a place to put them. Right now, I just have them in my Agenda PM. Currently, I have my cards, all my extra cards stored in this little Agenda PM from Louis Vuitton. So just let me show you, find something that doesn't have personal information on it. This here. So I have these little sleeves from Filofax that hold two cards on one side and two cards on the other side. But when you try to put something in or pull it out, it's, it sticks. So then you have to like get down in here and unstick it. And then they're really tight and it's just not very user friendly. So that's why I was looking for a different solution. The thing I've been looking at is the Zippy coin purse. I, well, I looked at a few, I talked about this a few months ago, I think, where I was looking for, um, oh, it was the, the same day that I did that video on taking the luggage tag into Vuitton that I said was fake or they said was fake and it did turn out to be fake and I'll link that video below if you haven't seen that yet. Um, it was pretty embarrassing. So after that happened I looked at the Zippy coin at Vuitton and I also looked at the Multicartis, Multicart, I'm not sure how to say that if the S is silent or not let me know please. Um, and then I went down to Chanel and looked at some coin and card cases there. And I still want a Chanel one, but I haven't decided on what I want. But I think I'll get that in the next couple of months. Um, so the Zippy coin seemed to be the most practical for me. The multi-cart or multi cartus the cards, and I had this problem with some of the Chanel pieces too. The cards, when you put them in, like the gusseted pockets, the wallets weren't wide enough, so the cards only stuck in the corner edges and you couldn't flip through the cards. And I want something where you, I can put a stack of cards in there and be able to flip through them pretty easily. The Zippy coin was wide enough to be able to do that and it zipped where it kept everything secure. Um, the problem with the Zippy coin, I've been looking at those for a few months. All of my SLGs are monogram and I, think that I, I was thinking I wanted to get the monogram uh, zippy coin because it would match everything else but there was just something holding me back I just wasn't in love with it I didn't think for $400 which is what it's going for right now right around 400 I think it was 390 and now it's like 405 or something because they had a price increase um, for that price it, I just wasn't loving it enough it was like too plain or something so I couldn't bring myself to buy it. So there are all kinds of variations on the Zippy coin. There are Epi ones, there are Vernier ones, the patent leather, um, there are limited edition special ones, there are emprunt ones and the, the leather. So I was trying to figure out what I wanted and I liked some of the, <clears throat> some of the Vernier, the um, patent leather, 
but I was afraid of having that in my purse all the time and it sticking to things like patent leather tends to do and getting color transfer and all that. So I kept not buying one of those because of that. And then I thought, well, the on-print piece, I want an on-print piece and that would be nice, but it was $600 and I couldn't bring myself to spend that much on a little zippy coin wallet thing. So I was just kind of at a loss as to what to do and I was browsing Yugi, Yugi's closet one day and this thing popped up and I thought, oh my God, that's perfect because it's a Sarah wallet and I have the big Sarah wallet and I love that wallet. And this is beautiful because it's got the little flap that I think for me, just my personal taste, I think is prettier than the zip around. And then it also has, some of the wallets I was looking at didn't have card slots. They were just like the Chanel ones. They were, um, just a space to put a stack of cards. And I need that, but I'd also like to have some slots to put individual cards so that when I'm carrying a small bag, I can rearrange the little wallet and use it as my wallet and not just as an extra card wallet. Does that make sense? So when I came across this and I saw all these card slots and all this space for the extra cards and the Zippy coin just has a little um, section in the middle where you can slip one card in and this has this zipped coin pocket which is even better than the zippy coin purse and it has all the same pockets and everything as the zippy coin like the organization is exactly the same as the zippy coin except this pockets on the outside instead of the inside and then it has the zipped area which is better I thought oh my god that's perfect so I ordered it immediately and I'm saying all this and I'm talking myself into keeping this, but what I need to do is put it in some bags, put things in it, use it, and figure out if it's really gonna work for me. I got this for $400, so it was the same price as the Zippy Coin. It was more than that retail. I don't remember what they had listed, but this isn't sold anymore. This is a discontinued piece. And since it was the only one I was able to find and I've never, Either I've never seen one before or I've never noticed it before. I'm guessing that this is a piece that people bought and people have kept because you just don't see them on the pre-loved market. So I don't know right now if I'm going to keep it or not, but I'm going to play with it. I'm going to make some videos about playing with it. What it fits in. Does it fit in the Eva, for example? Um, does it fit in my... Chanel inspired bag here. Does it fit in the plastic Chanel inspired bag um, with all the other stuff that I want to carry because I need a small wallet for my small bags so that I can have a wallet and also carry my glasses and all keys and all the other things I need to carry in a small bag. And this may be a little too big for that, but we'll see. I want to show you the tags and the receipt that this wallet came with. So they were in the bottom of the box right here. On the receipt, they have whited out the personal information of the original purchaser and their signature. So that's good. I was wondering how they were gonna deal with that. And they also have some information whited out on the back. I'm not sure what all that is. That's why all that's whited out. But anyway, let me show you. So there is the original receipt. Uh, so it was originally $560 and I got it for $400, so that is pretty cool. The code is there in case you ever need that for anything, M61292. And it was purchased in January 22nd of 2016. So this wallet is two years old, a little more than two years since it was purchased anyway. Somebody had a $500 gift card they got to buy it with. I wish I had a $500 gift card, Louis Vuitton. On the back says it was purchased in Santa Monica, California. Bottom of the box also, there's the little care tag. It talks about the uh, canvas and the fabric, and then, uh, or the leather, and then here's the code and a little UPC code. I think I've been rambling on a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out. I would love to know your thoughts, especially if you have one of these. I would love to know what you think of it. Um, yeah, and anything you wanna say, that'd be awesome. So comment section below, let me know if you think I should keep this or not. And 
all that stuff, whatever else you want to say about it. Um, and, oh, this is something, let me know in the comment section, if I decide not to keep it, if it's not the right fit for me, what should I get instead? Now that you know that I need a small wallet for all these different things, what would you recommend for me? I could use some ideas because I'm at a loss here. Um, okay, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification icon to be notified when I post a new video. And if you're on Instagram, follow me there. I am Autumn Beckman on Instagram. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you later. Have a fantastic evening. Bye.